Well, good day, tubes. How is she hanging? Pretty good here. So today we're going to take a stab at this electronic ignition install. Looks pretty straightforward. I don't think it'll be too hard, and uh, it's way simpler than the points in points and condenser, really. But uh, so we've got to get it in the container again and tear apart this uh, uh, distributor and stuff. Gonna get all it tore apart again, and uh, it is running again. I did get it running again, believe it or not. Let's get her opened here. Um, and it blew the condenser again. And I changed the uh, everything. I even actually did uh, change the uh, everything in there. But I guess the, the next condenser I put in was bad too. So I'm like, what the heck? So that kind of sucked, but anyways, it is running again, which is good. Probably gonna need to turn my lights on in here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, holy jumping lookout. <laughs> yes, so it is running again. Um, I guess we can fire it up, why not? Go in here and we'll turn this back to on. Where are we here? I noticed though, the other condenser that was in it that blue, it doesn't start quite as nice now, which is interesting. <laughs> but anyways, points and condenser is still in her. Let's see if she'll fire up here without any choke. It wouldn't start the other day without a bit of choke on. Like that's interesting. Maybe it'll be all right today. I don't know. Anyways, it started, but yeah, the other day would not start, would not start without choke on a little bit and then ran fine, but took it for a good ride around. It never really heated up a whole lot. I was into like the start of the green kind of thing, just driving around, but the other day, man, we were plowing with that thing. Wow, it was, uh, it was heating up really good. So uh, let's get back down here without dying. We'll unhook this because we're going to do electric stuff here. So what we got to do is uh, find again which one is positive and negative on here. And the two wires have to come out here and then hook onto these things there. So that's not too bad. So we got to get this opened up again. Yeah, what a mystery though. It was running really weird, remember? And uh, oh, man, it was driving me nuts. So that there and we'll pull pull that off put it up top remember put it up top <laughs> and we'll pull this little clip we're gonna need all this stuff again clip and the, I don't want to lose that clip that's for sure and there we are into the metaverse so we got to tear all this stuff out of here and uh, I guess this will come out too. This wire, we don't need it now either. This little short wire. This one still has to come down here to uh, charge the coil, but um, then we gotta get all this out of here somehow. And the two little wires that come off the plate come down out through here and then onto there. So and then we gotta figure out which way this is gonna turn. I think it's clockwise. I can't remember though because there's two different mounts for that. So let's get a uh, tripod for you guys and uh, get some lights on in here too. That might be all right there, bud. It's not too bad, but for me, I am old and I can't see. So, anyways, I'll get some lights here too. All right, I'll try my best not to bump you while we're here. Um, oh boy, that screw is. I think they actually give you new screws, so this will probably be the last time we'll need to use these old screws. Sure spent a lot of money on points and condensers and crap. But anyways, we're gonna get rid of these things, that's for sure. Get rid of the old 1957 technology. 
It's uh, served its purpose. It did well, you know. Like that's that's all they had back then. But we got smarter technologies, I guess now, which is good for us. All right, that's loose. And that's loose. Just don't want to drop one of these screws. That would be bad. Okay, that's out, that's out, that's out. Now, I need to get a little socket here. Size of those boys. Uh, that's uh, might be a uh, well three eighths, I think maybe. No, nope, way smaller. Probably at eleven thirty seconds. No, nope, smaller yet. Oh boy. Five sixteenths. Oh, that's like the standard size for a. Uh, yeah, that one. The standard size for the uh, uh, hose clamps. Get this right off of here. It's good. It's crap out of here. Out of here, crap. Maybe we will fire that out of the potato gun. Okay, now this. Probably bigger, yeah. So we're going back up now, 11.30 seconds. No, three eighths. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Look at this, I'm getting all these psoriasis stuff all over everywhere now. And oh man, I got something going on with me, boys. I don't know. I haven't been sleeping too well either. And uh, I got me, well, I got an, a, an appointment for next week, I think it is, to get fitted for a halter monitor. Just to keep an eye on the heart, I guess, for a, day, a couple of days. And then I have to go to a uh, sleep clinic for night, they'll assess my sleeping, how my sleeping is, because I have not been sleeping very good at all, like really bad. So well, that's a probably a crappy little wire that probably should have been changed. Not the greatest looking little guy there. What do we got in here that's gonna fall in? That looks like a spacer or something, yeah. little square headed probably not too well grounded out or uh, shielded out sorry how the heck are you supposed to get all that out of there I don't think that was shielded too well at all Wow <laughs> now I need 50 fingers to hold this don't drop her in There, that's quite a little bolt. Hmm, interesting. Okay, there we go. I don't know if this little screw here, I gotta take that out maybe. I'm not too sure. Well, let's grab the, uh, well first of all, let's grab the crank here. Turn this. Sure, they've got a. Yeah, the clock on. Okay. That's all you need to see, just a little turn there. Let me grab the uh, kit here, it's right here. Okay, so we got way longer wires than we we're going to need here with this thing, so we'll, uh, we'll be changing, cutting, and shortening them a bunch.
right, so we first have to figure out where this mounts. Hmm. Hmm. Clockwise and counterclockwise. Looks like there and there. Okay, so I got a screw hole here, one here that's lined up. Presume that's what we're after. Let's see now if these screws are going to fit. And they even give you the little uh, connector deweys there too. Well, that's kind of sweet. Uh, I'm going to need... I'm going to need to get that lined up there. See, I don't think it would line up anywhere else. So Let's see. enough I guess. Tighten that down of course after here. Let's get this one here lined up. Seems kind of weird that they only have uh, mount holes over here. They want to try to use just the factory. I guess they figured that's enough but another screw over there wouldn't have been all right too maybe. But... I guess it's kind of high-ish on that side. I didn't really crank it down that much. All right, so now, I thought we had a damaged wire there, but I think it's just the insulation. Now we gotta fish all these out. I could probably shorten these now, but ooh, these are nice wires. They're like really spaghetti-like. It's like the stuff we used to use for, for doing batteries on the RC car stuff. It was like a spaghetti wire or something they called it. It was really cool stuff. Um, am I doing this right? Yeah, that should be good. Now, I gotta try to fish these through the hole here. Get the one through. Oh, it's gonna be a little trickier, so I'm gonna need a tiny little screwdriver or something here to need a little hook tool actually. We got her. All right, let's gently, gently pull these through. Twink. Just something like that, I guess. Holy smokes, that's not too bad. I don't need these very long, do I? But the red, of course, has to go uh, over here to the positive, so we'll probably go in behind and then come onto that one. And this negative one, like I say, it can just come right off now. Um, we'll need that 3 8 and it's probably this 5 16 again. Yeah. Off too. Holy smokes! So this cool little wire we made, don't need it now. So we'll get rid of 
cool little wire, but we don't need them. And uh, they gave me. Well, that's gonna be all right there. Should be. They gave me uh, connectors here, but I gotta get my uh, crimper thing. Anywho, Let's make sure these probably aren't gonna fit on here. Oh, they do too. Wow, these guys are good. So, oh, that's pretty tiny though. I guess. negative side I guess that'll fit that wire let's just see it's really fine wire too right I don't know if you can see that spaghetti kind of fine stuff yeah I'm sure it'll fit this fine I just I got a shortness of course but I want to do a, a test fit here so I got other connectors too that we could use oh, that should be fine okay let me go get my uh, crimper deweys Okay, so we want to leave a little extra here, um, just in case, you never know. So what I'm going to do is, um, probably mount it from behind and then come around like that, so that'll give us a little bit extra. I mean, you can always add more to it, I guess, but it's your waste a lot. It's good, it's good looking stuff, though. Now, this stuff's so soft, we should be able to just peel it off with our if I had nails there just like that there bud now let's see here let's see here yeah I should do I like a little bit more though if I can hair a bit more Okay, now get this going. You can see these crimpers, they have uh, red, blue, and yellow different sizes, right? So we'll get this on the red here. Ooh, I messed her up. Ooh, ooh. Oh, uh oh, I messed that up. Under pressure. Can't handle the pressure. Try that again here. I didn't actually get her crimped yet. It started to go there, but I dropped the wire. There we go. Crimped. Oh, no, I'm just tricking you. Trick, tricking you, tricking you. Oh, come on. You fit on there perfectly. There we go. Okay, so let's get, oh yes, I left that up here, this and this, down there, a little dewy there. Apparently this is supposed to give it a nice hotter spark as well, so we'll see. No, no really about that, but maybe it will. Good. All right, should be good. And this one we'll bring around here and probably do the same sort of thing. Don't want enough that's gonna rub on anything, but uh, and about there will probably be lots. Uh, drop my climpers. A little bit extra. That one's good. All right, let's see if we can do this again here. Pretty nice stuff, spaghetti-like. I think that's what we're having for dinner tonight, spaghetti-like. These things are neat, they have the ratcheting thing. If all you mess up, well, you gotta push this little dewey there and it releases that for you. Go to the crimp and then it releases and away you go. Off to the races there, bud. Oh yes, we gotta take this one off too. 
uh, here. <laughs> Fighting right till the end, aren't you? It's the hair a bit too small, maybe. Actually, you know what? Why am I taking that off? That doesn't have to come off. What am I doing? Huh? Because I'm used to taking it off and replacing the whole coil. What am I doing? Whew. Okay, there we go. There, that, there, and that, and there. I think going in behind us looks a little bit nicer, cleaner looking. Might even zip tie that a little bit. That would stay there, that's just about perfect. Yeah. That should be good there. Okay. Now in here, hopefully I've left enough room, but I got a little bit extra if we need it. We can uh, readjust. This is the little magnet thing that senses on the sensor to fire the coil, I guess. And that just fits on anywhere, apparently, on these things with these grooves, so. I guess like that. Apparently you gotta squish it on real good. Good, good, and then we need, oh, it's all up there now. Oh, we need this cap again. Sometimes they say with the wires it won't fit, but this one looks like it's going to, so that's good. And then the special little clip to hold loose there. I might just try to just flex it in a bit. Snap! Oh, no, I need the rotor. That's all down good. Rotor's on. Now we need the cap. We're done. We are good. All right, get that back on. I wonder why it won't start. And hopefully we've done everything right here. It should just fire right up. Let me clean up a bit of things here and we'll give her a shot. Hopefully, hopefully it's all right. Well, here we go. We'll hook up this. Hopefully nothing goes zip. Nothing went zip. That's good. And uh, I guess I'll leave these on the tripod while I go up here and fire this up. Well, here goes nothing. I have to try it. Let's see. Uh, wow. That's perfect. Isn't that sound nice? Well, that was quick and easy. Let's. Uh, Take it for a little tour here. What a simple thing. We did that a lot of years ago. <laughs> Whoops, I still got a plow on the back. My bad, forgot all about him. <laughs> forgot all about him. Uh oh. So you hear that clunk when I take off there, right? Eh? It's something back in the rear here. I don't know if it's in the a bit of play in the drives or something. Boy, that's running pretty darn good. Let's see if we can stall her out. We are in uh, currently second gear here. Going up a bit of a hill here. Doing like 
just under 600 RPM, I think. Oh, I can go lower than that even. Holy smokes. About 400, 450 maybe there. <laughs> it's still making 26 or 7 PSI in uh, oil pressure. The gas tank is making a bit of a squealy noise out of certain RPM. Vibration, I'm going to have to assess that. Something's squealing on the tank here. I think if I just wedge something under there, it'll probably solve that. Oh. Wow. That's second. That should be first. Pretty slow. Oh, let's run over some of the old apples I got raked out of here. juice we got like a whole bunch off of this tree too oh man apple juice <laughs> all right so let's see here that should be third that seems to be pretty happy What the heck happened there? Long oh, tricky, I just shut the key off. I tricked you. <laughs> oh. Alright, so that's third. Right down we got fourth. And straight back will be fifth. Wow, that's running really good. Gotta fix that squealy noise though, that's gonna drive me nuts. She takes fifth gear from a dead stop here. Wow, that's pretty good. Oh, brakes work good. Let's drop her out faster. Well, I didn't like that so much, but that's pretty good for a cold engine. I mean, it's got a very bit of temperature there, and that's it. So, wow. Holy smokes. It's actually making a bit of heat already. I can feel it coming off. Uh-oh. Applesauce. Yeah, those ones went bad. That tree was amazing this year. Holy crap, it made a lot of apples. We got a lot off it, too. And my Spartan bitch just behind the house, it did really well, too. Beautiful. That actually went better than I figured it would have. 
fairly simple too. I don't mind that. So, boy, right now I need something simple, I'll tell you. Let's try it again here. Seems good. It looks like this has a packing or something in it that's leaking out a bit of oil. Ooh, that's another job we got to do too. When we get this cover off of here, underneath us here, um, and it looks like someone's been in there before. I see silicone down there. Oh, sorry. I see some silicone. Some silicone right there. See that silicone there? That's silicone. Someone's been in there before, so hopefully it's that pin that's broken and not something else, but let's jump off of here for a sec. Ugh. So we got to take the seat off again. And uh, this whole top cover has to come off. Um... And I think it's this cover has to come off too. Oh, that's a little different looking. And, uh, and this whole top plate comes off. We flip it up. And uh, inside there's that little roll pin. We got to change it, I think. And that'll help lift that up higher. Because I, I know when this was off and I pushed this back further, I guess that flat edge in there went over center. And then, oh yeah, then it lifted more, right? So it's got to be that's the problem. So that should be fun. Interesting. Look at the bolts here, how it's kind of wore off a bit from like your pant leg or something, or your shoe coming over there, or it's just kind of wore the top of that off. That's funny. That one a bit too, but anyways. This I think is your auxiliary hydraulics. If you're going to run a loader or something, you'd run it out of this little, little guy here. So that's kind of neat. But yeah, this, uh, uh, this whole top plate has to come off, and then there's another bolt like one of these underneath this plate. So all that's gotta come out too, that should be fun. And uh, then there's these ones here. You don't take out, cause that's actually holding the cylinder in there. You don't want that to fall in, right? So there's a few of them under there. I can't quite see now for the seat, but a few of them that hold that in there. So that'd be a big job though, getting that off. And I guarantee you that's probably what's wrong is that little pin rides along a cam in there is uh, probably probably having problems. I just like to shut this off. Ooh, messed up. But anyways, we're gonna probably do that in the next wee while if I'm feeling all right. Oh, it smoked. How long is this thread there? Um, because I guess now we're not going plowing where we were going to go plowing because we had all this rain and crap and it's just, I don't know, it's getting too late in the year probably now and then, uh, yeah, so. That little run, we had a bit of heat. Yeah, not probably enough to open that thermostat, but a little run got a little heat in her. She's into the green there now, so well, that's good. Well, that actually was uh, way more better than I kind of figured it would have been. Worked out pretty good. So, I know I got one issue too I gotta resolve. When I put this hood on here, the little tube that goes down for the drain, it got kind of pinched in there somehow. So I'm gonna have to uh, try to take it off here again and pull it out and realign that little tube. Should have probably put in a, a solid one, but uh, I guess that'll work for now until the heat wrecks it. <laughs> but anyways, there we go. I thought it might have taken us a little longer not to do that, but oh boy, that was, Quick and easy, fast, nice and done. Let's go home and eat dinner. <laughs> so, our next video, oh yes, our next video will be soon. I want to take this top off first, I think. Look underneath there and replace that, little, replace that little pin. And then I've got two jugs of hydraulic fluid to do in this too. Change the fluid and fix a couple of plugs in there that I think are weeping a little bit. Um, probably just around the threads will you know, pipe dope it up or something and uh, seal them back up. But anyways, there we go. Holy smokes, that went pretty good. So I guess that's it for that today. So thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day. Wish we were going plowing, but uh, apparently they're not doing it now, so. Uh, I actually looked at something here, I think. Oh, well, maybe that's right. It looked like this fender was kind of bent in a bit. Like it's going up and then bending out. Maybe it is a bit, I don't know. <laughs> I still fit on anyway, so I'm good. But uh, yeah, that fired right up, didn't it? I was liking that. Nothing wrong with that. Man, should have done that a long time ago, I guess. But 
Should probably do it for the two end too, which I got uh, stored in that other container now. But uh, I mean, it fires up pretty good. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I don't even know if one exists for that little tractor. I guess it does, but that's of course the one with the uh, 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 distributed right on the front of the engine. So it's a little bit trickier. I, I, a lot of people hate them. I, I didn't bother me, I, no problem. But anyways, thanks again for watching. Electronic ignition installation, if you got all that. Oh, wait a minute, we got one other thing to do. We're gonna send the old points and condenser to the moon. And of course that's with this awesome tool. Oh, 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 it's gonna be awesome. Okay, in you go. And your friend, take him with you too. Get out of here. Then we gotta wad another chunk of this up. Like a muffle loader, right? I think we're good. Just look down the barrel. Yeah, looks like we're pretty good down there. Yep. Okay, and then I'm gonna fill it and we are gonna fire. Okay, so I promised to the moon. Here we go. Look at them go. <laughs> Listen. Oh, they're in that bush somewhere. <laughs> Whoops. Well, that was very satisfying, I must say. After those points and condensers screwed me around so much, we sent her quite a piece out. <laughs> so, I will slow that down. I guess I probably already did that. And uh, <laughs> you can see if we can actually see them glistening as they're going out. <laughs> Stupid thing. They still work too. I'm not sure about the thing. I'll never find them now. Well, you never know. You might. If I kind of followed that same sort of line, and I probably would find them again, but will I bother? Probably not. Because electronic ignition apparently is the best thing on the planet, and I am in total agreement with that. So, anyways, goodbye points. Goodbye condenser. I kept the little screws and all that stuff and the little, you know, all that little junk. I didn't fire it too, but points and condenser went in and it's launched. So, anyways, that is it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later and you guys have a good day.